guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a wear test and review of the brand new Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation. This is the liquid foundation that we have all been waiting for since the foundation stick came out. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing a wear test, then keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This foundation launched today, Friday, January 25th on Sephora and Hourglass's website. It comes in 32 shades, retails for $56, and it has 0.84 ounces, which is slightly less than the typical one ounce that liquid foundations come in. So the packaging I think is gorgeous. It's this nice frosted glass, which is pretty typical for hourglass. It's an angular package, pretty gorgeous in my opinion. Um, I was really, really excited to try this out when I saw that they were launching it because I tried out the stick foundation, which I just hated it. So if you want to see me try that out, I will link my full face of hourglass video up here. I did an entire face of hourglass and I tried out that foundation. It just did not work for me. So I was really, really excited to see that they were coming out with a liquid foundation because liquid foundation is kind of more my style. So yeah, I picked this up. I ended up with the shade Shell. I swatched the other neutral shades, so then I have neutral undertones, so the next neutral undertone shade up is Nude, and that was a little bit too dark for me. I am self-tanned right now, so yeah. And then the shade lighter than this in the neutral undertones was Porcelain, which was way too light for me. So I did end up with Shell. I do feel like this was a little bit too light for me, at least right now while I am self-tanned. I'm just going to read the claims on the Sephora website. It says a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump, no primer needed. It says that it's full coverage with a natural finish. And it says this highly concentrated formula provides full coverage with minimal product. It applies like a second skin, creating a smooth and flawless complexion, light reflecting microspheres, blur and create a soft focus finish. The non-comedogenic formula is waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. So it does have directions on how to use it. It says step one, hydrate. This formula doesn't require primer. Step two, use half a pump. Step three, work in sections, dot onto the face and blend using your preferred, to preferred tool. And then step four, set. So that is exactly what I did. Um, we're going to hop into a demo of this so that you guys can kind of see the entire look. I can't remember if I shared my um, primer and moisturizer with you guys, but if not, I used the Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizer per usual. And then I did prime just because I always prime and so I don't see how this would be any different. I did use the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer followed by the Too Faced Primed and Peachy just in my pore areas just to kind of fill in my pores and give my skin a nice base to work with. So those are the claims. We're gonna hop into the demo. You guys can see the close-ups of before I finish my face, just the foundation, and then also when my face is completely finished. And then we will do some check-ins and go from there. All right, I already prepped my skin, which is why I'm a little red from rubbing stuff in. This is the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. Then I put on my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, and I also use my Too Faced Prime and Peachy Primer just in my problem pore areas. We are now gonna go in with the foundation. I have it in the shade Shell, and it says to shake it well, and then it also says to work in sections. So I'm wondering if this is kind of like the Clinique two-in-one foundation and primer, or foundation and concealer rather, that it dries quickly. So we will see. So I'm taking just like the smallest amount. And then I'm taking my EcoTool sponge. I'm kind of dotting it and then like blending it down just so that it kind of gets coverage everywhere before I blend it out, but not using more product if that makes any sense. Okay, so this is one layer. It is very full coverage. I feel like it's a little light. I'm going to go over a couple of areas 
that I want to build up a little bit. Literally in the viewpoint right now, I look like I have a mask on. So we're gonna see if we can kind of fix this situation. Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple areas to get the coverage that I want and then we're gonna put the rest of my makeup on and see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna do a little close up. And now I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I just finished up my makeup. <sighs> I just don't know you guys. I'm gonna do a close up really quick. So right in here, I feel like it's definitely just sitting on top of my skin. I also feel like it's like accentuating all of my fine lines. I don't know if it has to like melt into my skin for a little bit or what, but I'm going to do a wear test at least until later this evening. I have plans with a boyfriend tonight, so I am not trying to look like a crazy person. So I'm going to give it a chance, go out into the world. I've got some errands to run, so I will do a check-in for you guys, but no promises that this is going to be like an insanely long wear test if it looks this bad later on. So for now, this is no bueno. I just feel like it is sitting on top of my skin. It's accentuating all of my pores. I just feel like my skin looks really bad, which is obviously not what you want when you put a foundation on. So I will check in with you guys and we will see how this goes. Okay, it has been a few hours. I have to say, I feel like it looks better now than it did when I first did it. So here's a close up. It, I feel like it like needed to sink into my skin if that makes any sense, but I'm just look in my It's definitely still a little bit broken up here And I don't really like the way that it's sitting on my nose But other than that, I feel like it looks better now Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but I still it's not my favorite I don't know. We will see in a little bit how it looks Okay, so I've had this foundation on for about eight hours now. <sighs> you guys, I wanted to love this so badly, and I just don't. So let's do a close-up really quickly so that you guys can see the full situation. So I feel like right here, it's really broken up. On my nose, it looks like it's just like sitting on top of my skin. I have glasses marks. And I was wearing my glasses for a few hours today, but certainly not all day. And the foundation is just completely gone from those spaces. A lot of times it'll leave like red marks, but not completely make the foundation disappear. I feel like in here, it's totally accentuating my fine lines and making me look way older. Um, yeah, not great. So the other areas like... I feel like all in here it looks fine but like my chin and my nose area and like around my eyes just oh not very good so and like around my eyes I can give that a pass because I know a lot of people don't put foundation around their eyes anyway because they put concealer and I just am weird and don't use concealer so I could give that a pass because I can see not putting it even around my eyes anyway and just using a concealer fine but my nose and like the marks on my glasses area and then my chin it just doesn't look good so I'm very sad that this did not work for me um, I think maybe if you had really oily skin maybe it would work the problem is that it's a thin formula but it's very very full coverage so when you're blending it in like if you go over an area a second time it almost rubs off because it's so thin but it like dries really quickly so you have to move quickly but then also knock over an area more than once or you get redness I don't know Bottom line is, this did not work for me. I really, really, really wanted it to. I I think I'm going to try it again. I just don't know what else I would do differently to make it work for me. So, yeah. Either way, for now, I do not recommend this. And I'm going to go wash my face so that I can look like a normal human and go to dinner tonight. So yeah, that is the moral of the story. I'm very disappointed. I really thought this was going to be a foundation that I absolutely loved, 
but I think it's going to be right back to that Laura Mercier foundation that I just reviewed, which I will leave that video up here for you guys in case you missed it. I think I posted it like maybe last week or the week before I did a wear test of it. And that foundation is just absolutely beautiful. So we're going right back to that. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Let me know down below if you're planning on trying this. If you've already tried it, let me know your thoughts. Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.